On the evening of September 2nd, 1998, Swiss Air Flight 111 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. All 229 passengers and crew on board lost their lives. The plane, a McDonnell Douglas MD-11, was en route from John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York to Geneva, Switzerland. Swiss Air Flight 111 was known as the UN Shuttle due to its popularity with UN officials traveling between the organization's two biggest centers. The flight also carried business executives, scientists, and researchers. First and business class seats were equipped with in-flight entertainment systems, enabling passengers to browse the World Wide Web, select their own movies and games, and gamble. The flight took off at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 52 minutes after takeoff, the flight crew detected an odor in the cockpit and determined it to be smoke coming from the air conditioning system. Four minutes later, the odor returned and smoke became visible, leading the pilots to make a radio call to Moncton Air Traffic Control in New Brunswick. The radio call, known as Pan Pan, is international standard procedure to report a situation that was urgent, but not immediately life-threatening. The radio call indicated that the urgency was due to smoke in the cockpit, but did not declare a Mayday emergency call. The crew requested a diversion to Logan International Airport in Boston, 433 kilometers, 269 miles away, before accepting Moncton's offer of the nearby Halifax International Airport in Nova Scotia, a mere 122 kilometers, 75 miles from the aircraft. At 10.18 Atlantic Time, 9.18 Eastern, the pilots requested to dump fuel in order to reduce the plane's weight for landing. In accordance with Swiss Air's checklist when discovering smoke of unknown origin, the crew shut off power to the cabin, which also turned off the recirculating fans in the cockpit's ceiling. However, this allowed the fire to spread to the cockpit, eventually shutting off power to the plane's autopilot. At 10.24, the crew informed Halifax that they were flying the plane manually and declared an emergency, stating, And we are declaring emergency now, Swiss Air 111. It was the last communication received from the flight. The aircraft's flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder stopped recording at 10.25pm Atlantic Time. At this time, the flight was at an altitude of 9,700 feet, or 3,000 meters. At 10.31, the aircraft struck the ocean at an estimated speed of 345 miles per hour, or 555 kilometers per hour. The collision decelerated the aircraft with approximately 350 g, causing it to disintegrate instantly. By the following afternoon, it was clear that there had been no survivors. The initial focus of the recovery was to identify human remains and recover the two flight recorders. Due to the impact of the crash, only one victim was positively identified visually. Relatives of the passengers submitted medical records and DNA samples to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Eventually, 147 passengers were identified by fingerprint, dental records and x-ray comparisons. The remaining 81 were identified through DNA tests. By September 11th, both the cockpit and flight data recorders had been recovered from the ocean floor. By this time, the investigation believed that the crash was caused by faulty wiring in the cockpit after the in-flight entertainment system had started to overheat. In its final report, the Transportation Safety Board of Canada investigation identified 11 causes and contributing factors of the crash. The first and most prominent was, aircraft certification standards for material flammability were inadequate in that they allowed the use of materials that could be ignited and sustain or propagate fire. Consequently, flammable material propagated a fire that started above the ceiling on the right side of the cockpit, near the cockpit rear wall. The fire spread and intensified rapidly to the extent that it degraded aircraft systems and the cockpit environment, and ultimately led to the loss of control of the aircraft. Investigators identified evidence of arcing in wiring of the in-flight entertainment network, but this did not trip circuit breakers which were not designed to trip in the event of arcing. The investigation was unable to determine whether this was the main cause, 
that was assumed to have ignited flammable materials on board. The rapid spread of electrical power failures led to the breakdown of key avionics systems, and soon the pilots were unable to control the aircraft. Recovered fragments of the plane showed that the temperature inside the cockpit became so great that aluminum parts in the flight deck ceiling had melted. The TSB made several recommendations regarding in-flight checklists, fire detection, and firefighting equipment and training. Two memorials were established by the government of Nova Scotia. One one kilometre north of Peggy's Cove, and the other near Bayswater Beach Provincial Park. Here, the unidentified remains of the victims are interred. The crash of Flight 111 was a severe blow to Swiss Air. The culprit of the disaster, the in-flight entertainment system, was initially installed to attract more passengers. It was subsequently removed in order to ease the airline's financial difficulties. Swiss Air later went bankrupt shortly after the September 11th terrorist attacks in 2001, an event that caused a significant and widespread disruption to the aviation industry.